Peace, peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 47. Y'all know what it is. Smash the like button, subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Donate if you want. Cash app be pinned in the comments. Um, don't forget to click that notification bell too. The other day I did a video and I was talking and I said, I mentioned my homeboy King Knowledge. And I said, I got a story on my boy King Knowledge that I was in the drop to y'all. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm doing two videos today. This is my second one. This is about my boy King Knowledge. Rest in peace to the homie. You know what I'm saying? Now, the story with Knowledge is he was a young bull that was always with me. He was 16 years old. He was a Latin king. And where I was at, the neighborhood, they used to call it King's Alley. It was all Latin kings at one point. There was beefs and wars with like the folks try to come in there. And uh, that didn't turn out too good for them and stuff like that. And my boy King Red, rest in peace to King Red. I mentioned him, I did a video and the way uh, a few months, a few months ago, it says uh, Warlando, Dover Oaks, that was a neighborhood. And in there, I mentioned King Red and Knowledge and all that. Now, Knowledge was 16 years old and he was a Latin king. Now, the thing with the Latin kings, like when you a peewee, you know, they got to make sure you on school. They stay on top of you. You know what I'm saying? At least I know where we was at. That's what was going on. So you have people checking up on our, our knowledge, going to the school, make sure he's going to school, make sure he's doing what he's supposed to do. Because he was a kid. He was 16 years old. So we was doing our thing, and he would always want, yo, put me on, put me on, and this and that. And I'm like, man, I had another little homeboy named Rafa that I'm going to do a story on, Rafa, too. And what that story is going to be more of a, when somebody's looking up to you and you know, basically it costs them their life, you know? But the thing with uh, knowledge is he always wanted me to put him on. Put me on, put me on. So one, I put him on, you know what I'm saying? I put him on, you know what I'm saying, with some light stuff, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he was, you know, doing his little thing. We was out there always doing our thing, but he was always around. And, you know, a young kid, he's trying to be down. But he said, I'm 17, like Brandy, I just want to be down. That's what Pac said, right? Basically, that's what it was. He was from New Jersey. So his mom comes to me one day, and she's like, I'm going to come out of the corner store, and she was outside, and she was waiting for me. You know what I'm saying? So she knew I was in there, so she was like, look, can I speak to you for a minute? So she was like, I'm Knowledge's mother. So I was like, oh, yeah, how you doing? Woo -woo. So she's like, uh, I just want to talk to you for a minute. I know that you're giving my son some work. So I was like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? So I looked like, yeah. So she was like, I moved from New Jersey to get him away from that. I try to get him, I'm trying to do, give him a better life over here in Orlando. And for a lot of people that don't know about Orlando, wherever you from, like, Orlando's not what you think it is. You know what I'm saying? You got Disney and people, that's what they think. Oh, we're going to Orlando, we're going to this and that, Disney World and Universal Studios. Orlando got trenches. You know what I'm saying? And it's for real out here too. You know what I'm saying? It goes down out here. You know what I'm saying? You at a red light, there might be 10 cars at a red light. At least seven of those cars got guns in them. You know what I'm saying? So it goes down out here. It's not what people think. So when they move here, they're like, yo, I ain't know it was like this out here. So... She was like, I moved out here to get him away from that. So I was like, all right. So she was like, I want him to go to school. I want him to do better in life. I don't want him to be in the street. I don't want him to grow up being a dope boy. I don't want him living that life. You know what I'm saying? So if you could please don't give him no more work. Stop giving him work. So I said, say less. You know what I'm saying? So I tell knowledge when I see him, yo, I spoke to your mom's little nigga. Cut off, you know what I'm saying? I cut I cut him off. I mean, cut off, man. She don't want you, you know what I'm saying? Out here, this and that. Um, 
what I'm going to do with this. Because I always sold clothes. I always sold sneakers. I always had my hands in a lot of things. And selling CDs and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So sunglasses, bootleg Jacob watches back then. Like, you know what I'm saying, all that. So I was like, I'm going to put you on selling um, DVDs and music CDs. You know what I'm saying? Because it was CDs back then. So I put him on with that. He took off. He was doing his thing. He just wanted to make money. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to be independent and make money. He seen everybody making money around the way, and he wanted to make money. So I was like, so he started selling CDs. He was doing his little thing. We was cool. So a couple of months go by, and um, knowledge comes up to me. He's like, yo, pool, uh, they cut mommy's lights off. So I'm like, where? He said, yeah. He said, it's $600 for the lights to turn it back on. And he was like, she don't got the money. He's like, yo, shoot me a pack, man, so I could get her the money. So I was like, nah, nigga, your mom said not to give you nothing, bro. I'm not going to give you nothing. He's like, man, I can't make that type of money with the CDs. Like, he was just making a little money to get, you know what I'm saying? He's 16, man. You know, little smoke his little weed and buy a little sneakers here and there and stuff. So he wasn't. So he was just spending his money hanging out with the girls around the way and shit like that. So I'm like, man, he talked me into it. I said, look, I ain't giving you nothing no more after this. I gave him a whole pack and I said, uh, don't give me nothing back. Take all the money and give it to your mom. And I'm going to ask your mom, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If I find out you, because he was like hanging hang around with these little Thotties and, and, and you know what I'm saying? That's why I said, I find out that you spending your money on these little thot ass chicks out here, then don't even come talk to me no more. I'm going to cut you off forever. I'm giving you this for your mom. He's like, all right. Boom. About a week, go by two weeks. I see his mom at the store. So she like, my son told me what you did. And I was like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I was supposed to give him no work or nothing. No more. I told her I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? She was like, man, thank you, man. Because, you know, he got my lights turned back on. And, you know, I appreciate that and all that. So it was no smoke. You know what I'm saying? She ain't had no smoke about it. But, you know, the thing with, with knowledge is we had, we had a, I feel like I could have saved his life. You know what I'm saying? And this always stuck with me. This is to this day. I be like, damn, hey, man. I should have took homie with me, you know what I'm saying? And we had a beef going on. Not me and him, but we had a beef going on with another side of town to where, you know, we was doing more than they was at that time, and they was coming over there trying to rob. So they robbed one of my homies' gutter, you know, rest in peace to the homie gutter. And uh, I spazzed out, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, look, man, if anybody come in here in a box Chevy, you know what I'm saying? Because there was some niggas in the box Chevy with dreads or something like that. So I'm like, anybody come in here, y'all better put that work in, man. You know what I'm saying? On site. On site. And if you don't, then I'm going to handle you. You know what I'm saying? So it was related to that. You know what I'm saying? So we slid one night, and uh, I seen knowledge at the store. So we was going on their side of town. We are like, all right, y'all want to play like that? We going on your side of town. We going to run down on y'all. So... I see knowledge at the store. So it was like four of us in the car. And um, I got the papers to the case. I got to find them. I'll show y'all and stuff. But uh, knowledge like, let me ride with y'all. Let me ride with y'all. So I'm like, hell nah, little nigga. Yo, I just told your moms I'm not going to give you, you know what I'm saying, no work, no nothing, bro. And you want to ride with us? He's like, come on, man, please, please. Let me ride with you, please. He was begging me, man. Excuse me. He was begging me and begging me to come with us. I'm like, hell no, we already four deep. You're not coming, bro. What's gonna be happening? You don't need to be part of that. Ah, come on, man, please, please, man. Come on, man. He was just, he wouldn't let go of the car. Like he was had his head in the in the car. We were at, at the gas station. He had his head in the window of the car. No, he wouldn't let go. Like, I'm like, man, move, man, move. He went. He was begging me to go with me. And I never forget that. You know what I'm saying? But um, He, we left, and um, we did a bunch of stuff that night, bro. You know what I'm saying? We did a bunch of stuff. Got caught up. And the 
in a shooting situation in Kissimmee, you know. And, you know, we got caught. You know, it was going to be a high speed chase, but son told me, which is crazy, like a voice spoke to me. I was driving, it was, and it was like, don't run. You know what I'm saying? Because we wasn't going to get away. It was 18 cops. And at the scene was one cop we didn't know. And he had somebody pulled over. You know what I'm saying? And he heard the gunshots. Boom, 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 boom. And he was giving somebody a ticket. So when he seen the car in the corner, the cop jumped behind behind me. But he never turned his lights on, his sirens on, nothing. He was with his lights off. And he was like 10 cars behind us, but he was following us. So when we get to the light in the major intersection, there was like 18 cops already there. And I was in a dip, but with the car we was in, we wasn't going to make it. We wasn't going to high speed their ass, but we was by the border of Orange County and Osceola. Because Kissimmee is Osceola County, for those that don't know, and Orlando is Orange County. And we was on the border. You know what I'm saying? Disney's really in Kissimmee. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say Orlando was really in Kissimmee. So we was like on the border. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, we get into Orange County. I'm ditching the car. When I get out the car, don't follow me. Everybody run separate. So... We get caught, whatever. You know, I pull up to the cops. You know what I'm saying? I pull up right to the cops. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, we was, we was done. They had their guns out, running up on us. Get on the ground. They ripped the car apart. You know what I'm saying? They, the seats. They took the seats out. The headliner. They took everything out. They found drugs in the car. They found the gun in the car. Um, they found bullet casings in the car from the shootings. Uh. You know, I fell asleep in the cop car. It was taking so long. It was like four hours. We was in the cop car sitting there on the scene. Then they took us to, um, they took us to what I thought was a county jail. So I was like, yo, we're going, we're going to the jail. So I was like, all right. So, I was like, so when I wake up, I'm walking in the hallway and I'm like, yo, where we at, man? Because I've been to the county jail. They felt like this don't even look like the county jail. And um, we was in the hospital. So... I'm like, yo, you got hit. You got hit. The cops telling me, yo, shut the fuck up. And I'm like, man, fuck you. You shut the fuck up. Tell me. So I'm asking my people if they got hit. We all good. Boom. They take us in front of this room. Now, and, and they open the door. Man, this dude is in the hospital bed. You know what I'm saying? And he mm, hit the button up on the bed. He looks at us. And he's like, yeah, that's them. Points us out. Woo, 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 woo. Boom. Take us to the jail. You know what I'm saying? He had got shot in his arm and shit. It broke his arm. Bullet went. Got stuck in his back. Whatever. Boom. Everybody beat that case. One of us went to trial, beat the case. The rest of the charges got dropped. I did six months. Six or nine months, I think I did. I think I did nine months. Because I was doing nine months or something else, and they gave me six months. for. They tried to hit me with a flea and a looting from the police, but since he never activated his sirens, it wasn't a flea and a looting. It was like a reckless endangerment driving, 100-something miles an hour, whatever. This night that this is going on, the knowledge begged me. This is what happened. And I told him he couldn't come with me because I didn't want him to be no part of what was going to happen. And I was like looking out for him because his mother told me she didn't want him to be in the street, in the streets. And she knew he was in the Latin Kings, but she didn't want that life for him. So I was like, nah, young boy, you ain't come with me. You know what I'm saying? And he goes out with his girlfriend this night, the same night. He ends up going out with his girlfriend. She had got a new car and they was, you know, riding through the city. She had a friend. The girlfriend had a friend. And her boyfriend was with him. Now, her boyfriend was a crit. You know what I'm saying? And knowledge was a king. So they riding around, whatever, whatever. Somehow, the boyfriend and knowledge get in an argument. They start fighting in the car. The girl screaming, stop. She looking back, stop, stop, stop. And she's trying to break them up. And they're all in the car. Chaos. Total chaos in the car driving. You know what I'm saying? She hits this guy in a, in a, this guy's in a motorcycle. She hit the guy in a motorcycle, kills him. The car flips over and lands in a drainage ditch that had water in it. Like they say about this much water was in it. So the car's upside down in the ditch. Knowledge and the two girls are unconscious. You know what I'm saying? And he was breathing in water. You know, he was he was unconscious, but he was breathing in the water because it was upside down. His head was on the water. The crip was the only one that wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't um, 
knocked out. He wasn't unconscious. So he slid out the car and he had, there was like a boulder. There was like a boulder that was there and he started beating knowledge in the head with it. So on top of him drowning, he had crushed gold. You know what I'm saying? He had a crushed gold and all that. They didn't find that out until the autopsy. And then they went back to the scene and they found the actual boulder and matched it up. And then they put out a warrant for the kid because he ran from the scene and left them all there to die, you know? And um, I believe, I believe one person, one, the, one, the girlfriend to the crib survived. They said she died, but I seen her after that when I was in jail and I got out and, and I had seen her. So she didn't die, but knowledge did die. And Buddy, that hit him with a rock. They ended up arresting him for that. You know what I'm saying? So he tried to run, but they caught him somewhere in another state. But it was crazy because I always think that if I would have took him with me, we would have got arrested. He would have got out because he was a minor. His mom would have picked him up, but he would have been alive still. And that's, that always messes with me because it's like, damn, man, I try to look out for him and try to keep him out of trouble and try to protect him. And he still got hurt and he still died. And I felt like that was on my clock, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was like, he was always with me. I said, I should have took him with me, you know? And um, I didn't. So he ended up losing his life that night. One of the girls ended up dying and so did the, so did the, the guy on the motorcycle. And um, just a little story I wanna share with y'all. Like sometimes, you know, you think that that you could control everything and you can't, you know what I'm saying? Especially like in these streets, you think like, I'm gonna try to stop this from happening. And then this, something else completely different happens, you know? And it might not have been my fault, but I always feel like it is. I always feel like, damn, I should have took knowledge with me, man. He would be alive to this day, 16 years old, you know what I'm saying? And he died, but what can you do, you know? I don't think this, I think it's, it's in the books, it's supposed to happen. But this little story I wanted to share with y'all about my boy Knowledge, because I told y'all I was gonna share that, that story about it. And uh, I got another story about my boy Rafa, kind of a similar story, and a kind of about effect that you have on people and you don't realize. When you out here and these young kids look up to you, how deep it that is. And you won't realize until you get a little bit older and you look back, you know what I'm saying? How deep that is. How deep when somebody wants to be like you and you make it out and they don't, you know? So it's your boy Zulu King Street Fame 47. And y'all be safe out there. Like I said, subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Hit the notification bell. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay up, man. Peace.